In this training, we are going to learn how to create an OST center with the state system admin credentials. If you are a state system admin, then you can create facilities and today we will learn how to create an OST center. So first you go to the URL for project search. You can find this in the manual and you can also see it here. It is projectsearch.org slash search UAT slash hash slash login. So first I will enter my username and password. Note that this should be the state system admin role for whoever is logging in. You enter the captcha and then you're in. So this is the state system admin uh, login page. You can verify here that this role is of a state system admin. So in to create a facility, first you go to the facilities tab and then to the add facility form. So when you cl click on the add facility tab, you will see that there is a form that has that opens up here. You have to enter all the details for the facility that you want to create. So for example, today we will create a facility in the state of Kerala because that is where our login is and we will call it OST facility OST sample facility one. Facility number, you can refer to your uh, sims facility number or you can refer to any kind of uh, ident identifying number that the facility has. You can also create a new number if such a number is not available. So I will put here 000101. Facility type, like we discussed, we are creating an OST facility. It is called a TI OST facility. It is a part of the targeted interventions module, which is why it is a TI OST facility. OST type, it could be government based or NGO based. Let's say our facility is government based. You could also select NGO based based on what your OST facility actually is. At TI centers, you select the TI centers that your OST is linked to. So let's say that is uh, TI facility test here. It will show you all the TI centers that exist in your state and you can link your OST facility to any of these TI centers. The monthly OST target is the monthly target that your OST center gets. Let's say it is 200 for us. And we also have to say till when will our OST center be operational. Let's say we know that it is going to be operational until December 2021. And then you enter the address. I'm entering a sample address here. You select what district of Kerala you're going to your facility is in. Then you select a sub district town and finally a pin code. The pin code also could needs to be six digits in num uh, six digits long because that's how pin codes in India are. It will show you an invalid if it is not. Then once you've created the facility, you have to enter the name of a of of the primary person who's responsible at the facility. It could be an OST data manager or a lab technician or whoever uh, runs the facility and manages the data. So I will say that the name of my data manager is John and his email id is john doe at example.com you need to enter a valid email id so uh, the email id that you enter here will get the credentials the login and password information uh, that will be sent to this email id to access this ost center let's say their mobile number is their landline number the landline number is optional. You can add a landline number for the OST facility. Right now, I am not entering anything. But if the number is available, you should enter one. Designation, let's say he is a data manager. His role is that of a data manager. Designation is the actual uh, designation that the person holds in the facility. OST data manager means that that is the kind of access 
that we are giving in the search module. And now you have to create a username for for the for the person. So let's say uh, since his name is John Doe and the facility is Kasara God, we can say O S T Kasara God. So once you fill out all the mandatory fields in a particular section, the section will show a green tick here. So then you can proceed to the next section. You will see here that our add facility section also has a green tick. Then you can you are given the option of adding the contact details of an alternate person. So the alternate person is somebody who will uh, who also works at the facility and they can also get access to this module for uh, this module in search. So let's say we want to add a nurse. And we say her name is Jane Doe. Her email ID is Jane Doe at example.com. And her mobile number is this. Her designation can be OST nurse, like, like we discussed. And also, you can select the OST nurse role for her. Let's say her username is nurse OST Kasara God. Finally, we say that the facility status is active or not, which means that is our is our facility functioning. Let's say our facility is functioning and you say the status is active, then you say save. You'll have to wait a couple of seconds for the OST to be created and now your crea facility is created. So when you go to the facility list, you can see your OST sample facility one that you just created. The primary user name is here, his email ID, his contact number, and his uh, the status is status of the OST is here. Using the edit option, this is the edit option, this is the delete option. You can either delete the facility or you can edit the facility and its details. When you go to edit, the same form will open up and then you can edit any of the details except for uh, except for some details which are uh, which are already populated by the uh, by the system. Since the usernames have already been generated, you cannot edit them, but everything else you can edit. So you say save, and finally your OST facility is created. Thank you.